What's up, guys? This is Webby, and as you can see, I look a little different tonight. I have a mask on, and this mask represents what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be discussing some of the finest mask wrestlers in all of wrestling. Past, present, and all of wrestling. Now, wrestling has had some great wrestlers that have worn masks. It ranges from Rey Mysterio down to Mil Maskers. Now, first of all, I would like to say thank you to my best friend who when he was on vacation, got me this mask. Because this mask is just awesome. I 100% think this mask is just awesome. So, I really would appreciate him taking this mask up. But, um, anyway. Real maskers. One of Mexico's finest wrestlers back in the day. When he was put into the WWE Hall of Fame, I do believe Alberto Del Rio and Rey Mysterio during the little video package, they compared Mill Master as still like Hulk Hogan. Sold out the arenas back then and really put Mexico on the map. Mexico wrestling. And, uh, he was just an extraordinary athlete, doing stuff nobody had ever seen before. So, Neil Mascaris, fantastic wrestler. Well deserved the Hall of Fame. Go to the WCW days, and you know, we had uh, such stars as uh, Psychosis. And, uh, those type stars. Cuba to Guerrero. These stars, I'm telling you, put on absolutely some of the greatest matches in WCW. They hooked you to WCW. You know, Percy had, you know, Dean Malenko on them. But these matches, they really hooked you into Monday Nitro. They really kept you in tune, which really you needed that little hook because while you had the Kevin Nash and the NWO stuff going on, you couldn't really watch that for three hours. And you needed something different for the non-drama fans, for the fans that like the pure wrestling. And that's what Juventus Carrero and Psychosis and these type wrestlers brought to the table. These guys put on some terrific, absolute barn burner matches. Absolutely awesome. Move on to the WWE days. And I have to say, you know, Really, WWE had some good superstars that wore masks, and they had some bad superstars that wore masks. Now, I'm going to give two examples. One that was a good example, and one that was a bad example. I'm going to do the bad example first. The bad example was Mr. America himself, which was... Hulk Hogan, absolutely horrible. That stupid mask that he wore. All knew it was Hulk Hogan. That was a horrible character. Absolutely horrible. Not too much to say about that. But the final person I'm going to talk about, of course, when you talk about masked wrestlers, masked superstars, you can't not talk about, and you can't forget, Rey 
Mysterio! Absolutely amazing superstar for a person his size. 619 himself. Absolutely amazing. One of the greatest of all time. One of the greatest. He put on some absolute great matches. Former world champion. Absolutely. Former tag team champion. Had some classic feuds with Eddie Guerrero. Absolutely miss in WWE right now. Could highly use some of his type wrestling and some of his type feuds in the WWE right now. But you know, times change. So, anyway. His work, absolutely awesome. Absolutely missed. But, um, so, masked superstars have absolutely transcended the WWE, transcended wrestling over the years in different ways. Had different styles of wrestling. You know, they've got kind of masked superstars for the most part. Kind of give us kind of a luchador type wrestling. And I just want to do this video to bring this type of attention to everybody. And um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. If you missed any of my videos during this past week, go back and check them out. And until next time. This is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.